everyone and thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. My name is Julie Johnson and these are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to week number 22. If you haven't guessed by now, uh, we're going to be talking about photographing pets and incorporating pets into family sessions. This is Paco, this is my baby. He just turned uh, two the other day, so we just love him to pieces. So. Um, the first tip that I have is that you want to make sure that the dog's ears go up. So a way that you do this is to ask them questions. So Paco, who's there? <gasps> who's there? See how his ears go up? Want a treat? Do you want a treat? <laughs> there you go, buddy. So um, asking them questions will get their ears up, but you also want to follow through. So if you do offer a treat to a dog, you want to make sure that you have one available. We also recommend keeping the dogs in a confined area. Our studio has a door that we can close so the dogs are, um, are not able to get loose. Another tip that we recommend is to always have the dogs um, go for walks first, long walks, so that their energy is uh, depleted and they'll want to relax and, uh, and cooperate for the session. dogs to get them to stay in one place um, they have a natural instinct built in them to be afraid of heights so you want to get them up high and um, not too high but enough that they're they're afraid to jump and they will stay where you want them to it's always good to have a spotter beside the dog as well oh, did I blow her beads <laughs> Making little noises uh, gets their attention. Who's there? So you want to make little sounds to get their attention, to get them looking at the camera. Sometimes stomping your feet works. Who's there? Who's there? Hi guys. Who's there, Princess Peas? good girls. We also charge a pet fee. If a family is to add a pet to their session, if they shed, we charge an additional $30. That charge is basically for the cleanup of, um, of any hairs that are left after they're gone. When photographing larger dogs, um, usually people that are getting their dogs photographed, they have a great relationship with them, their dogs are well behaved, and they listen to their owner. So you want to make sure that their owner directs their pet into their positioning. It's very difficult for someone else to come in and start uh, training another person's dog. So you want to make sure that the owners are very involved in the shoot and, uh, and again that you do have treats there for the bigger dogs. On behalf of Paco, myself, and Vine Images, we just want to thank you for joining us for Tuesday's tip. We hope you have a lot of fun in your pet sessions and uh, have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.